In this very spot in the year 1816 stood an inn with a reported menu of tongue, roast, cider, brandy, and, last but not least, the regional sour cheese. In 1852, Jakob Herburger bought the Weisses Kreuz, including its inn, stables, agriculture, and vineyard, which unfortunately no longer exists. Since then, a member of the family has stepped into the role of running the hotel, which is continually being remodeled. There used to be a weighbridge, a petrol station, a cider house, and a distillery. In these good old days, an alpine traveler who had no more money could stay in an inn called the Weisses Kreuz, in English called the White Cross, for free of charge. This is why it's possible to find so many hotels called Weisses Kreuz in Grissens, Tyrol, and Vorarlberg. In the Vorarlberger Inn Guide from 1927, the inn was referred to as having six beds. The price for each room, including board, was eight shillings. Back then, there was no central heating, but there was one garage, electric lighting, and a telephone. In 1970, the inn ultimately became a hotel, first with 36 rooms, and through further remodeling and annexes, the last being in 2012, we now have 106 rooms. Herzlich willkommen bei uns im Hotel Weißes Kreuz in Felkir. Welcome to the Hotel Weißes Kreuz in Felkir. For more than 160 years, this hotel has been in my family, and of this I'm very proud. Your comfort is our priority. We are very happy to have you as our guest. Next to the newly renovated rooms on the panorama floor, a very cozy bar awaits you. Whether for a freshly drafted beer, or a glass of Grüne Veltliner, why not end the day in a relaxing and harmonious atmosphere? One of our main concerns is that our guests always feel at home here and leave us with a smile on their faces. We provide nightly entertainment, and you'll never be bored. You'll be entertained by a traditional folk group, our house musical duo, or we'll play Wheel of Fortune together. You should always feel completely at ease. The Weisses Kreuz is open year-round, and each of the four seasons has its own charm. We offer fitting excursions for each month, and there is a lot to see. In 1218, Feldkirch was deemed a city. For the Habsburgers, this area was always a bridgehead to their Swiss territories, notably Habsburg by Baden near Zurich. Feldkirch, the westernmost city of Austria, has around 30,000 inhabitants. Switzerland and the Principality of Liechtenstein are both within walking distance, and the Lake of Constance and Germany are both about 30 kilometers away. The distance from the hotel to the inner city of Feldkirch is three kilometers. Public buses stop directly in front of the hotel every 15 to 20 minutes, and therefore, it's always quite easy to reach. The Schattenburg, once belonging to the Counts of Montfort, towers above the medieval city. The city center, with its old patrician houses and charming squares and alleys, is well worth seeing. Tuesdays and Saturdays are market days, which create a great atmosphere amongst the flowers, fruits, and other local products. The large festival during the year include the Juggler Festival, the Vinobile, an Austrian wine fair, and the Montfort Spectacular, which features many medieval games. We care about the environment. For example, you can see at the breakfast buffet that we avoid small packaging and we prefer using regional items. Whether it's eggs from Happy Hens or Bergkäse from Schopenau, the milk products from Vorarlberg or fair trade coffee. Sustainability is a matter very dear to our hearts. One of the most beautiful seasons is surely winter. A winter dream like way back when. Snowy peaks, snow-covered roofs, and the cold and clear winter air. The view of the mountains is much better than in summer, and who hasn't jumped of the famous trains in nearby Switzerland, like the Glacier Express, the Bernina Express, or the Erosa Express. From Feldkirch, 
These journeys can even be made as day trips. And a sledge ride through the idyllic mountain landscape is as much a part of the experience as a glass of mulled wine with oranges, cinnamon, and cloves. An excursion to the Bregenzerwald, also known as the Bregenz Forest, is simply a must. Whether you ride through the large Walser Valley, the Hochtannenberg Pass near Lech, or the Bördele, you'll love the rich green hills and the traditional farming houses. Our cows are just as happy there, and that's why there's such a selection of outstanding regional cheeses. Our favorite is from the cheese dairy in Schopenau. Try it at breakfast, and you can even visit the Alpine dairy yourself. With a glass of milk and the differently aged cheeses, you too can discover your favorite. The highest mountain in Vorarlberg is Pitzbuin, located at the end of the Montefon. Past the principal city of Schruns, you'll arrive at the wonderful Silvretta High Alpine Road. Along this road, with its many switchbacks, you'll reach the Silvretta Reservoir, located at higher than 2,000 meters above sea level. Here in the High Alps, you are nigh perpetual ice. Additionally, there are many such reservoirs in the mountains in Vorarlberg. The hydroelectric plants here generate half of Europe's peak electricity, the electrical current whose price increases in the short times when everyone needs and uses it. Als Gouvernante bin ich verantwortlich für die Sauberkeit im Haus. As housekeeping manager, I'm responsible for the cleanliness, the housekeepers, and the laundry in the hotel. Many things that are kept low profile. At the Weisses Kreuz, we know that a comfortable stay occurs when optimal service is provided in all areas. That is why we happily work well together. The Lake Constance, also called the Swabian Ocean, is bordered by three countries, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. From the Fender, the local mountain in Bregenz, you will have a sensational view of the entire lake. Next to Bregenz is the beautiful city of Lindau, the city on the island. Its famous painted town hall located in the pedestrian zone is an absolute must-see. Friedrichshafen is a city of aviation, Count Zeppelin built his airships here. Today, you can still book a flight on a Zeppelin or visit the museum. Furthermore, the passenger ships on Lake Constance are called the White Fleet. Why not take a relaxing trip over the lake? A visit to Mainau is worth the journey. Natural wonders, relaxation, and last but not least, the gastronomic selections make a visit to the Island of Flowers a pure joy, a paradise with Mediterranean flair in Lake Constance. The abundance of flowers changing with the seasons, a beautiful rambling park with a tree population over 150 years old, a butterfly house, a palm house, and the Baroque magnificence of the church and the committal palace of the Bernadotte family will enchant you the whole year round. The largest floating stage in the world is in Bregenz. There are over 6,500 seats for spectators to see the open-air performance on the lake. The installations on the stage are always unbelievable. Whether it's Tosca's Eye, which was used in the filming of the James Bond film Quantum of Solace, or the oversized figure of André Chagny. An additional treat, the Vienna Symphony occupies the orchestra pit. You'll be intrigued by a visit to this technical achievement. Both cantons named Appenzell are part of the original cantons of Switzerland. Here, the elections occur every year in the open air on the last Sunday in April, 
the politicians are required to literally stand in front of the voters and receive a confirmation of their work, good or bad. Naturally, Appenzell is also known for its cheese and the Appenzell Alpine bitters, an ancient recipe for herbal cordials which help keep all illnesses at bay. The library at the convent of St. Gall harbors more valuable handwritings than the Vatican. The grandiose Rococo Hall may only be entered wearing felt slippers, but the visit is worth every effort. My co-workers and I organize your stay and your excursions. We are constantly looking for new sites to see and special events to visit in order to be able to offer even our returning guests something they've never seen before. It's a lot of fun and an exciting challenge. The selection of excursions around Feldkirch is so large that there is always something different to do. Whether it's a hike through the Rappenloch Gorge in Dornbirn, or a visit to the Salem Abbey near Meresburg. Even the Royal Bavarian Palaces Neuschwanstein and Hohenschwangau can easily be reached. The largest Rolls-Royce Museum in the world is located less than 20 kilometers from here, and who doesn't enjoy looking at the most beautiful cars ever built? Even Innsbruck, with its golden roof and Swarovski crystals, is only a day trip away. Or what about the Christmas market at the foot of the Einsiedeln Abbey? From Chur, the world-famous trains of the Ration Railway, the Glacier Express, the Bernina Express, and the Arosa Express make their way to the dreamy landscapes of Grissens. These panorama coach tours offer highlights from beginning to end. Through sound mountain landscapes that reach for the clouds, over mighty rivers, past cragged cliffs, to the renowned winter sports resorts of Switzerland. The Bernina Express the highest railway over the Alps, connects Northern Europe with the South, and harmoniously integrates the magnificent mountains while doing it. This feast for the eyes quickly turns into a feast for the senses. All dishes are freshly prepared on board and served directly at your seat. Be prepared to let your senses be pampered. Grissens, Switzerland's largest canton and its capital, Chur, the oldest city in Switzerland, make for a great day. Whether you take a ride on one of the famous stretches of the Ration Railway, or visit the world-renowned winter sport resorts of St. Moritz, Davos, and Klosters, the number of sights to see is unbelievable. The largest gorge in the East Alps, the Via Mala, is not to be missed. One of the most celebrated days in the Alps is definitely the Alm Abtrieb. In Vorarlberg, this event traditionally occurs on the 15th and 16th of September. On one day, the expansive farmer's market in Schwarzenberg takes place, and on the other day, the cows are led from the alpine pastures back to the valley. The entire village and the entire valley celebrates this event, and it is the perfect opportunity to see, test, and perhaps even purchase some of our regional products. From wooden clogs and felt clothing to cheese, there is so much on offer. The three original cantons of Switzerland are situated around Lake Lucerne. Uri, Schwitz, and Niedwalden. This is where William Tell was born and where the ideas for the Federation, those which are still valid today, came into being. Still today, this is the Switzerland of the Swiss Army Knives, Swiss Chocolate, and the Alpenhorns, a journey through modern history. As the largest location on Lake Lucerne, Lucerne is must-see with its famous Chapel Bridge and enchanting historic city center. The newly renovated Baroque Einsiedeln Abbey, which lies above the city of Einsiedeln, the largest pilgrimage site in Switzerland, can be seen on the way back. Education and training for our employees, especially our apprentices, is very important to me. For this, you need tact and assertiveness. Because of our accomplishments and those of our apprentices, we've been awarded the distinction of having an outstanding apprenticeship program. We are, of course, very excited about this. The time before Christmas is particularly delightful in Feldkirch, in Alemannic Vorarlberg. The traditional Christmas market is filled with the sweet scents of cinnamon and vanilla wafting through the city air. 
The children are all anxiously awaiting the Christ child, who will be coming soon. From here, you can visit the Christmas market in Constance, on the ship, at the harbor, and in the city center. Of course, the Kresch Museum in Dornbirn, which provides visitors insight to a journey around the world, is worth a visit. At the hotel, we celebrate this time with care, traditions, and small surprises. The days around Christmas and the New Year are always particularly shaped by our memories. For us in Austria, this means celebrating on December 24th, as we always have. And at the same time, we also have a Christmas celebration on December 25th, as they do in the United Kingdom, with music and a visit from Father Christmas. Excursions on the Arosa Express, into the Regenswald, and a schnapps tasting are also called for at this time of year. New Year's Eve is, of course, one of the nicest evenings of the year, and we ring in the new year with joy and great expectations of what's to come. Auf Wiedersehen. Farewell from the best group hotel in Vorarlberg. 